Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week what I'm going to do is something a little different. Uh, I've had uh, some users that I've had to help fix their uh, issues with connecting to WebDAV on some of their remote devices, uh, like your iOS devices and such. And there is a fix uh, that has been introduced uh, to help you make that work. So I thought I'd do a screencast on it just in case some of you are struggling with having uh, having your web dev connect on your iPhones or your iPads or anything like that. So uh, so I'm just giving you this extra special kind of just uh, little fix uh, video to help you do that. So in order to, to make the fix happen, you want to go into your server's hard drive. You want to go to the library all the way down to server to web. And then you want to come over here on this side uh, to the config area. You want to go to Apache 2 right here. Yeah, let me just expand this out for you. And so once you're in this, uh, you know, this area here inside of um, Apache, you want to edit the web dev file. And so let me show you where that's at. We're going to come down here, and you can see this um, uh, web dev sharing uh, config file right here. You want to grab this, and what you, all you want to do is just um, take this, control click on it, you want to copy it. And then we're going to come out here on the desktop and we're going to paste the item. Okay, you're just going to paste it on your desktop. Now I've already done that uh, over here, so I want to show you that right here. So here's the actual pasted document there. What you'll want to do is make another copy of this document and put it in another folder uh, on the side, just in case it doesn't work for you and you just want to replace the original file, you want to just put that here. I'll make another secondary copy so you've got it. The other file that we want to copy, just for the purposes of making the fix happen, is uh, inside the same folder here. You want to go to Web Apps here. Let's click on that folder. And inside uh, the Web Apps area, we want to take this uh, P list here and do the same thing. You just control click, you copy it, and then you're going to uh, control click and then paste item on the desktop. Again, I've done the same thing with that P list right here, so I've got those all set. Now, once you have those on your desktop, we're just going to make a couple little changes uh, to, we're going to make a little change to each of those files. All right, so for the first uh, file that we copied here, this uh, config file, uh, just go ahead and control click, click on it and just say open with, and you're going to say other, and you want to open it with text edit. So I'm going to come all the way down here and open it with text edit, and I'm going to do that just so you can see it uh, very clearly here. And what we're going to do is you're just going to change, um, you're going to find this line right here where it says auth type right here. You can see that it says uh, digest. You're just going to change this word right here to basic. Just like that. So you just type in basic right there. And then you're going to save this file. Okay, you just come up and say file save. And there, you can see my file saved, that's all set. And I can get rid of that one. That's all I'm gonna do with this um, config file. Now the second file that you've got here on the desktop, we're gonna do the same thing, control click on that. We're gonna open with, and we're gonna say other. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna open this with text edit, okay? So we're just gonna say text edit, open. Let me pull that down here so you can see it again. And what we want to do is go all the way down to where you see this uh, key, you know, SSL policy. And you see this integer in here being zero. What you want to do is just uh, backspace on that and change that 0 to a 1. Okay, so now we've got that file all set, and you're going to go ahead and do the same thing. You're going to save that file and uh, go ahead and close it out. And so now I've got these two files edited. Now, what I need to do is before I do anything else, you want to go into the server app here, and you want to come all the way down to file sharing, and you want to make sure that you turn file sharing off. Okay, you don't want file sharing on to make that work. I'm going to leave it alone for right now, but because um, I don't need to do the change, but you want to turn file sharing off. All right, let me just pop that down. Once you've done that, all you want to do is drag these changed files back into place. So I would drag this one into the web apps folder. Okay, and it's going to ask me if I want to replace it, and I'm going to have to uh, put in my uh, server admin or my um, regular admin credentials and do a replace on it and put that file there. And then this other file, actually, this is the one that would go in there, the web app one. And then this other file here would go into this area right here and be replaced. Once you do that, then you can go back in, turn on the file sharing service, and you should hopefully have access. Uh, to be able to log into your WebDAV uh, shares on your iOS devices. 
So hopefully that helps for some of you that might have this problem. Uh, like I said, I ran across it, thought I would show you how to do it so you could try it yourself. Like I said, please make sure, because you're playing with configuration files, make sure you have these two files, or these originals copied somewhere. Just in case it doesn't go right for you, you can come and put them back. Again, worst case scenario, you can just copy them again and make those put those changes back. Just watch the video in reverse, and you should be fine. Uh, but hopefully that will get you uh, able to connect to your web dev shares. So that's all I have for this uh, short video. I hope uh, that gets you up and started. I'll be back at you next time with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.